Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today I want to show you our brand new barn. Okay, so we are getting new animals. We're actually getting new animals on Friday. I'm not gonna tell you what we're getting yet. Um, it'll be a surprise. I will try to do another video when they show up. I will definitely do another video when they show up, um, but it just depends on how soon I can get it here up here on YouTube. Anyways, I wanna show you this. We've been working on this since July. We knew that we were gonna get these animals and I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna show you the whole process from delivery to now because we actually had this built off-site and then it was shipped here to the farm so it was a really interesting process it's a big barn it's 60 feet long so watching them try to get this into the spot was interesting <laughs> uh, to say the least and now that it's all set I can't wait to show you guys so let's get started Oh, but before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you guys can follow along with everything we're doing here and you know when we get the animals. So this is the barn. It was delivered about two weeks ago and then we had the fence put in and I'm gonna show you guys that delivery process now. It was tight, huh? to go in. <laughs> So here is a little bit of a closer look. We have four stalls and then this center section that I designed to be a place where farriers could do work. So if you guys don't know what a farrier is, it is somebody who comes and trims the hooves of animals among other things. Um, any animal with hooves will need their hooves trimmed. And so I set up this center space here to be a space where that could get done. Right now we're storing some things in here. And then the back also opens and we own all of that land back there to the corn that will one day belong to some of these animals too. Probably not next year, but the year after. Then I'm gonna to try to not make you guys sick. <laughs> okay, so coming out of the middle section, we had this dry lot put in. Any animal with hooves needs a dry lot for their hooves. And you don't want them to have a space where they're always gonna be muddy or it's always gonna be wet because that could be really damaging on the hooves. So a dry lot is a necessity. And then you can see 
right over there, there's a small pasture where they'll be able to graze. We're gonna have to add another pasture at some point here and where that'll be will probably be determined in the springtime. For right now, we're just going to be using these two stalls here on the end for the animals. So I'll show you guys what the inside looks like. They are supposed to be 12 by 12, but they're both, they're all really about 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And you can see that door opens on the top. So that if there's something tall in there, they can stick their heads out. And then here's what the inside looks like. We just put down these stall mats today and Kevin cut them so that they fit perfectly. And tomorrow we'll actually be getting some lights in here and we'll be running water too. So there's that one. That's like that, and then that one. We'll be using these two right next to each other. Let me close this again. And I've got a kid here. Hi, baby. Okay. And then this is the other one. It looks pretty much the same. Dolly, you wanna help me open these doors? Okay, thank you that one too. So this is the other one. It looks pretty much the same. Um, I'm putting them on the side so that they can see each other. They'll be, well, they won't necessarily be able to see each other through there, but they'll be able to hear each other. And then that right there is that center space that I was showing you guys. You close that for me, sweetie? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so then this is the center space again. And then these two spaces, this one will be empty for now. And then this one will actually be using as a supply room. So we are going to be bringing a table out here and putting it in here, just so we can put things like um, medical things and different things that they might need in this space this year. Maybe you can get them to the Maybe. I'm not telling people yet what we're getting. It's a surprise. Getting what? What animals? I'm not saying anything, so shh, it's a secret. I'm gonna show them on Friday. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, everyone, that is the barn. I love it. I'm so happy it's finally here. Like I mentioned, it's been a whole, about six months at this point. <laughs> Um, process of getting everything here and getting it done and this Friday then we'll finally be getting the animals. Yeah he's my friend he's been approaching all day. Let me show you guys the pasture really quickly. And it looks like Hops wants to say hi too. Hi buds! Oh my gosh, you're so good. You're so good. I love you. He's my boy. Okay, let me just show you that the pasture really quickly. I know, because he's good. No. So this is what the pasture space will look like for right now. Like I mentioned, we will have to have another one. Um, I'm not sure where that'll be yet. Hops. <laughs> um, I'm not sure where that'll be yet, if it'll be somewhere on the front of the property, if it'll be kind of on the side over here. I don't think that... <laughs> Silly boy. <laughs> I don't think it'll be in back here. I think that we'll probably give our farmer friend who's been planting on our land 
another year. Uh, but we'll have to see how it goes. Right now we're only gonna be two stalls of animals, but there is a chance that we could always get more. Anyways guys, I will update you next weekend on the animals. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up with everything happening at Sugar Maple Farmhouse. I said it. You did say it. <laughs>